All right, so we're back again. Um, I had made a second video. This is actually my third, which I had decided to upload, but I changed that around. Figured I could do better, you know. I mean, I still have my second video, but I figure if I'm going to show you one, it should be something uh, maybe a bit more polished, maybe something a bit more prepared for. I kind of feel like my first game I did on this, I kind of stumbled through a little bit. Um, I, I I think I have a I have a better um, idea of what I'm doing. You might be wondering what I mean. Um, well, I basically kind of went in on the survival, trying to tell you about it, stuff like that. And I kind of got my... I, I wouldn't say I got my ass rocked, but I was definitely struggling a little bit. I said I was going to do two waves initially. I ended up doing about three. Got my ass wrecked by a tank. I'm going to make a few more preparations this time. This is my favorite hiding hole. Uh, like I said, you got two survivals. This is personally my favorite. Uh, except a landmine. These things you see here are where the enemy spawns from in any given wave. There are five waves to a round, and I'm presuming there are ten rounds. I'm not sure, though. You can, in fact, play from... Uh, an autosave point. Uh, it autosaves every round you finish. Or you can do what I do, just restart every time. You can, as I'm about to demonstrate here, you can either watch these kills you get, or you can skip them. Playing a survival, as you might expect, you get a lot of kills, and that therefore means a, a lot of kill cams, which can at times get a bit irritating if you don't skip some of them. I have a couple men incapacitated over there, and they're my personal favorite because you can do some inhumane things with them. I'll show you that later, though. These bastards are keeping my heart rate pretty high, though. good shot. One thing I will have to recreate for the sake of this video is in my last video I managed to literally shoot the ball sack off an enemy sniper. It showed an internal kill cam and everything. It was fantastic. I am terrifically saddened that you are not getting to do that with me at this time. Now for the waiting game. Oh, hey, never mind. Alright, so another important facet you have to see. That little red pillar of light off in the distance by the smoke, you can see it, I'm sure. Sitting in that, that will change every wave or roughly every. Uh, there's a certain amount of time you can be in it before it moves, but you get times to the score for getting any and all points achieved in that thing. Not sure why you do it though, I play these, you know, because they're survivals. I mean, the erection I get for points notwithstanding, obviously. Got a couple more landmines. Very good idea to keep some handy, of course. Um, important thing to note, ammo comes from giant caches you can refill anytime you want. Landmines and medkits are things you can only one bring with you using your loadout and two find the field when they're on, they're not. I'm sure you want to see some headshots, obviously. <clears throat> That's what everyone's here for. But really it's it's nice to know, I think, that you can really just shoot a target practically anywhere, and you'll be able to get them in one hit. That's that's pretty realistic, if you ask me. You're really not going to be recovering that quickly from a from a long shot, you know. Let's take a look, see if I had to guess. Oh, don't be like that, you guys. Come on. He's gonna try and help out his buddy, I think. Yes, he is. 
now he's dead. Man, I would really love to execute one of these guys who are down. I mean, there's just something especially sick about it. It's kind of hard to do that when you often can't even tell if they're dead or not. Man, I am doing so much better this time than I was. Like I said in my first video, performance anxiety is real, let me tell you. How hard it is to shoot. Damn. How hard it is to be lining and dropping these targets so quickly while simultaneously talking to them in oftentimes unrelated topic. Observe. These ones are especially fun because the bullet, if you fire it from the correct angle, can literally travel through his entire body and you will witness all of it. That's an enemy sniper up there. I've memorized his position because he kicked my ass in the last video. Fortunately for me, it doesn't look like he'll be bothering me this time. That's... There we go, kick them all the way they're down, that's what I would have said. Skip a little bit out of that. So I'm not sure when this video is ending, I'm assuming soon though. I have it set to 10 minutes, which is a really goddamn long time to be playing these. I mean, the video itself is gonna be huge. This is gonna be at least a couple hundred megabytes. I'm assuming more. This man's about to die. Come on. Yeah, it should really end at this. My second video I'm not uploading. That one ended about halfway through the third wave. A tank came along in this wave. It's really important that you memorize the spawns of vehicles because sometimes it might just be a truck full of guys. Another time for all you know it could be a tank and those can really mess you up if you don't do it right. If you don't plan accordingly. As you can see that red pillar hasn't changed for one of two reasons, I'm not sure of. Either it's because I haven't been in it or because we're still in the same round. I'm not going to make it to the next round before this video ends. It's probably kind of good because that means I don't have the opportunity to eat, sh eat shit. There should be a symbol coming along soon. Yes, that. That would mean the car is coming. Helps you track it a little bit before it comes in. I would tag it if I could but it looks like it's constantly outside my range. It's important to keep tabs on vehicles and their movements and to not piss off the vehicles until you have to. So you can see the weak point. It's highlighted in red now. I'm going to take a shot at it. I really hope I get it before it kills me, but there's no guarantee. Ooh, hey, look at that. What you are seeing right there is a tank about to eat a mountain of shit. Problem solved. Isn't it beautiful? Open gunfire directly in my position. All the Nazis who hate me have been shot. Look at that. More dead off screen coming. <sighs> there we go. You're probably hearing a really big sound, the rifle going off, not automatic fire. Those things are dangerous. You have to keep your eye out for rifles. Those things hurt very badly if you don't kill them quick enough. But as you can see here, that's really not going to be that much of a problem. That man is very much dead. Uh, yes, I do have that aim assist thing. No, I don't use it very 